Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking to you about these flat eye flashlights that I picked up from Panther Vision. Now I own a lot of different flashlights uh, for many years now and these are certainly different. And when I mean different, I also mean better. And if you want to learn a little bit more about these flat eye flashlights, stay tuned. So the two flat eye models that I will be featuring today are the FR2100 and the FRL2100, which has the same features as the FR2100, but it also doubles as a lantern. For now, I'm going to start out with the non-lantern version. I'll go ahead and share with you some of the specs, as well as why I feel that these flashlights are definitely good to go for multi-purposes. Now, first thing that you'll notice from these flashlights is their design. They don't have that standard round design. It's an ergonomical design, fits excellent in the hand, and in order to operate it, it's very intuitive. One of the features that I really like about these flashlights is that they are rechargeable. And not only are they rechargeable, but they have the cable built right into the flashlight, which uh, for those of you that spend some time out in the field like I do, carrying extra cables or searching through your gear for that extra cable in order to try and charge your batteries can be a hassle at times. So the fact that the cable is located right in the housing of the flashlight is a great feature. There are three settings as far as the output on this flashlight. There is a high setting, which gives you 2,175 lumens, which is extremely bright. In the medium setting, you get 1,330 lumens, and in the low setting, it is 72 lumens. On high, you'll get about seven hours of use from this flashlight. On medium, about 14 hours, and on low, about 44 hours, according to the manufacturer's specs. The housing on the flashlight is made from aircraft grade aluminum, and also this tactical polymer, which makes gripping it easy, even if your hands are wet, wearing gloves, and of course that construction makes it extremely durable. As far as visibility and distance, on high you're looking at about 662 feet, medium at 505 feet, and on low about nine feet. The flashlights have an IPX7 rating, so they are waterproof up to 3.2 feet, and they are shockproof up to about 9.8 feet. And Panther Vision also offers a limited lifetime warranty on these flashlights. The flashlight weighs in at 0.7 pounds, and because of its design, as well as this heat sink in the front, certainly makes it a formidable self-defense weapon, if you need it in a pinch. On high, this flashlight is 2175 lumens, so it certainly gets hot, but if you could tell here in the front, there is a type of heat sink that helps disperse that heat to help prevent you from getting burned or even burning some of your gear. On the bottom of the flashlight, there is this cover, which of course helps it to maintain its waterproof feature. And as you can tell here, this is where the USB cable is, where you'll go ahead and charge your flashlight. Once again, making it extremely convenient as opposed to having to look for your gear for those extra cables or for getting that extra cable while you're out in the field. Now there is also a battery indicator or a battery level indicator. And just by hitting one of the power buttons, you can tell that it will blink. And if it blinks four greens, that means you're fully charged. If it blinks three, you take away 25%, you're at 75%, and so on and so forth until it gets red, which means that it needs to fully be charged. These flashlights feature a safety interlock switch. So you could tell here that there are two power buttons, one on the top, one on the bottom, well, depending on how you're holding your flashlight. And if you were just to hold either one, flashlight will not turn on. But if you were to hold both of them down at the same time, they will turn on. And as you hit either button, you'll cycle through the low, medium, high, and off. Now, if you were to hold both of them down at the same time, you'll activate your strobe feature. And once again, from there, you could hit either button, and it'll go through the various selections until you turn it off. Now, moving on to the FRL 2100 which offers the lantern feature. So basically everything that we went over with the 
FR2100 holds true for the FRL2100, but the difference being that this FRL2100 also doubles as a lantern. Now you can tell there are the same buttons that you'll find on the FR2100 here, so it'll operate the same with the safety lock buttons, but it also has these two other ones that operate the lantern separately. So many different options and you don't have to use everything at the same time. Now, once again, if I were just to hit these buttons individually, nothing turns on. But if I hold them both down at the same time, you can tell that the lantern feature turns on. And what's cool about this is not only can you cycle through the low, medium and high, but there is also the red light feature for low, medium and high. And what I do like about this is that both sides operate independently. So if you just need one side of the flashlight lit as far as your lantern feature, no problem. Or you can obviously have both at the same time. So a lot of different options there. And once again, if you were to hold both buttons down on the lantern feature, it'll give you this safety blinking strobe light. So this is an excellent feature, whether you have a road emergency, whether you're setting up camping, hanging out at camp and need some light in your tent or in your mess area. So once again, these flashlights, these flat eyes, not only work really well, but offer a lot of different options packed into one cool little sturdy, durable package. So bottom line, if you're in the market for a flashlight that offers an extreme amount of versatility, whether it's for emergency preparedness, home use, camping, your vehicle, or other recreational activity, definitely take a look at these flat eye flashlights by Panther Vision.